Hey guys, so I'm hoping that you guys can hear me. I um, did get recently a comment said that they're hard to hear me. Um, I just wanted to come on and um, talk about um, some of the misconceptions with silicone babies and just, I guess, I don't know, just a chat. I um, honestly... Um, you guys know I'm definitely leaning more towards silicone babies, but I still love my reborns. And um, I've always been, you know, kind of a little bit more into um, the silicone babies. But, um, you know, until you get that one that just, you know, you get the right ones that just really, really make your heart sing, you <laughs> you you may you know feel different about them now um i started really really enjoying silicone babies back when i was getting ross bailey babies um i love the cuddly and the way they feel i think my elena was like elena skull which was kamari was probably my one of my all-time favorites of of Ross Bailey babies that I had um but of course you know you go from one extreme to the next and you know I sold them to get what I thought was going to be like a dream baby but wasn't and you know you just go from one like I said you go from one extreme to the next and I want to get her dress but I don't know maybe I'll just feed her first but um it's a lot of misconceptions about silicone babies and um, the problem is, is that a lot of people that speak on it are people that don't even own them or never own them or have had bad experience, experiences with them. You know, the, the huge thing that I hear all the time that really drives me insane is the the main thing that kind of like made me feel like I don't know if I ever want to get a silicone baby when I was first um, into reborns because I was like, that's way too much money to have to tiptoe around, you know, the doll or um, everything's going to stick to it and all that stuff. And I know I've said this in tons and tons of videos, but the topic came up again and it just made me want to talk about it again. Um, I have had dolls that, you know, needed to be powdered frequently, but the very first um, silicone baby that I had was a partial from Amy Strickland. It was no more than seven under $800, right? Or was it? Yeah, under $800. And this baby, oh, sorry, she's a big baby, but sometimes she just need to burp because she, she will just keep drinking sometime. Um, but it was a very inexpensive baby, but that baby never needed to be powdered. And, you know, everything wasn't sticking to it like people said. So I was thinking like, okay, well, this, you know, this is different. You know, so I was like, people are telling people this and this is not so. And then I got um, the first baby from Roz Bailey. And it was the preemie. It was India. And she needed to be powdered a lot, you know. Well, at least, you know, if she got a bath or after a few clothes changes, she needed to be powdered. So, I was like, okay, so maybe they do need to be powdered. But then I got another one from Ross Bailey and it didn't need to be powdered as much. And then one that just barely needed to be powdered at all. So, it just depends. And then I learned later that it's all dependent. If the doll is matted properly... They don't need to be powdered. Um, I've never put powder on. Um, I've never put powder on 
um, uh, Kingston, Mia, or Serena, um, because they don't need it. I barely put powder on my baby that I had from Angela Wilkins because she didn't need it. Um, but, I mean, I get it. Some babies do. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put your pacifier on. You're so cute. But I love her with pacifier, guys. Guys, I prefer a smaller nipple than this. But this, I mean, it's short, but it opens up. It's, the neck of it is small. But she has a wide mouth, so. <laughs> I just. But anyway, so. Yeah, so I, I don't, you know, people just, to me, people scare people off from things. And then another thing is a lot of them is not even um, people that even have collected silicones before that has these opinions or, you know, it's just drives me insane. Um, and then the, all the... Oh, they're easy to tear and they're hard to dress and um it's yeah it's some that are easy to tear um you know maybe I guess you know when when dressing my babies and I know that they're, they're really hard to dress it's hard for me to dress any of my babies on camera, so you really can't judge me on how I change them because I'm always trying to make sure the angle of the camera and all that. But what I can say is when I first got, I had a baby that didn't have armpits and under the arms was like attached a little bit to the thing. And it was hard to dress that baby. Like it was hard to get it dressed but usually like um Mia and all my Claritella babies they have little armpits and stuff and so their arms are not attached to their body so it's easy to get their hands and stuff through their clothes and stuff I feel really confident with um changing my Claire babies I felt confident changing my Roz babies um because they actually had somewhat of armpits too um well uh indy did so a lot of people oops i'm sorry a lot of people really you know a lot of people think oh you know she's just saying that because she has clear tail or she whatever but i've been feeling like you know Saying the same thing even when I had the other silicone babies. Um, yes, and I'm not going to lie. Um, my Claire Taylor dolls are the best dolls I've ever collected. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to downplay that for other people. But I'm going to be honest. They better be better. They cost more. They should. I mean, hell, if, if they wasn't better... There's no way I would try to get another one, you know, and you spend that type of money and the doll is the same as every other doll. No way. I'm not not saying that that doesn't happen, but I'm saying with me, it would only happen to me once. I wouldn't keep buying them because that would be crazy. So I don't care nothing about, you know, I'm a, I'm a doll collector and... But the thing about me, and you guys should know, even with, you know, the way I dress my babies, I'm very simple. Um, I don't care nothing about no name brand. I don't care who made the doll. I don't care about any of that stuff. I care about the quality, the way the doll looks, and mostly the way the doll feels. And, you know, I was just as crazy. Well, not just as crazy, but I was you know, pretty content and happy and in love with my Roz Bailey babies. Um, she got some kind of from her. 
onesie that was pulling. But until I, you know, felt different or seen different, I was just as content and happy with my Ross Bailey baby. And guess what? If I was to buy another, you know, inexpensive baby, I would love it all the same. You know, I would love it, you know. But I can't lie and say, oh, it's the same as a Claire Tell it all. That would be stupid, you know. And it's like people want you to downplay your happiness or downplay your collection because, you know, for whatever reasons. But, you know, everything has got to be, oh, she's bragging, she's this, you know. But this is what I always do. And I always mention that, and I thank you guys for telling me that you guys don't see it that way, but I know that some people do, and I just, you know, put it out there. But I'm telling you guys, silicone is not for everybody, just like reborns are not for everybody. Um, some people love them both. I happen to love them both, but I do prefer silicones over reborns, and I'm torn in between you know, having her in the nursery and even like when I had Ja'Cory, I'm really torn on, you know, I, I love partials too. I really love partials, but I get it. I think everybody should experience having a full body silicone too, but I'm telling you, it's like having the, the best of both worlds. I really love having partials because of the posing because I don't know it's just you know mostly because of the posing because right now my full bodies are just as cuddly as she is but I don't know maybe she is a little um but she's just more flexible more posable I can do more things with her as far as you know for pictures and stuff like that then even with um Mia has armatures and all that's great and dandy but she still can't do everything that Serena can do because Serena is a partial and I think when you have the the belly plate on a partial and all that unless you're just cuckoo bananas for taking baths on the babies and you don't want to do the wash offs. I mean, I'm just thrilled that I can take a washcloth to them, you know, if they get something on them or whatever. I mean, to me, I just want to be able to if if I feel like I need to rinse them off, I can. But you know, I do enjoy giving them a bath. I'm not gonna say I don't when I do give them a bath, but I don't like giving them a bath a whole lot. I think that that was the, one of the main attractions originally when silicones came out but I don't think that that's my new thing my main thing was always the pacifier thing and um it was real funny it was really the pacifier thing because I remember one of my um dolly friends would laugh at me because I would always say, I just want to stick a pacifier in their mouth. Be able to just stick the pacifier in their mouth. But now Reborns are able to do that. So, um, I think, you know, Reborns definitely have a lot of options. And you can just get the ones that you can stick the pacifier in the mouth. And that's all great and dandy. But to me, it's just nothing like the feel of a silicone baby. That's just my opinion. And I used to sacrifice the realism for the feel but now that I know that they can look as nice as a reborn or nicer um, I want it all so therefore that cost me more money and therefore I, of course I can't collect as many as I would probably end up collecting but I'm telling you I've got my full body baby now and I'm definitely in the future, if I go for any more babies, it will be going for partial silicone babies. So, I don't care what nobody says. I, I think they feel more realistic and I really like them.